Hi, I'm Tina. Yes, that's me. Welcome to my six month travel diary. This week, I go to Nashang. When I arrived to my hotel, the first thing I noticed was there's no level 13, which is so random. It was a four hour bus ride from Dalat, so I arrived later than I thought. There's a lot of people out and about walking along the beach. It's so vibrant with all the lights. I do think the vibes are better at night time. The next day I woke up really early so I could go to Vinpel. I was so excited because the Vinpel in Fuwok was so much fun so I was keen to check this one out. There's a cable car that takes you over to the harbour. The price of the cable car is included with your ticket. The tickets are about 60 bucks Australian. I was ready for the rides. Well, I thought I was ready for the rides. That one was so much fun. This ride was awkward and uncomfortable because you had to lie on your stomach. I really like these story telling rides, however it wasn't in English so I didn't really know what the story was about but it was great. But my favourite ride was the luge. I really tried not to use the brakes which was scary. <laughs> There was also an arcade room, mostly full of VR games, which was super fun. The only thing was, when you put on the mask, it reeked, it smelled so bad that like I wanted to vomit. <laughs> This fin pearl had a zoo. I've never seen tigers swim or just 
having fun in the water but I don't blame them because today it was 37 degrees it was so hot the zoo at Vimpel there was nobody else. I felt like I had the zoo to myself. I didn't see any other people. I think because everyone's just enjoying the rides and the water park or maybe I was just lucky on that time of day. I really enjoyed my day at Vimpel um, in the train, but personally, I do prefer the full walk one better. cute animals I went to the flower greenhouses which were surprisingly cool it was so air conditioned um, and cold so if you ever go there and need a break from the heat go to the flower houses Another great area to cool off is the water park. There are so many water slides, but I think that these ones aren't as scary as the ones in Full Walk. I really liked it though how they had a beach area. There was also a wipeout obstacle course which I tried and yes I could not complete it. It was very hard. I was really tired so unfortunately I did not stay for the water light show. I think it was just the heat. Um, while I was so tired because as soon as I got back and it became night time I was re-energized and then went to the night market The night market is very packed very busy and very congested So I was kind of playing a game like Seeing how quick I could weave in between people But yeah, if you get claustrophobic, I do not recommend Walks on the beach in the train at night, so nice, so relaxing and calm. So the next day I went to the hotel gym 
which was this. Not the best gym, but it is what it is. This is like the first time I've worked out properly and I am so weak and so gassed and so unfit. I worked out for about an hour and the next day I could not walk. I was so sore. After exercising, I went to the beach. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay for very long because then I was catching my flight to Seoul. The train to Seoul is about five hours. So when I landed, it was about midnight. When I left the train, it was 36 degrees. And when I arrived in Seoul, it was nine degrees. Oh my God, it's freezing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Next week, we're exploring all of Seoul. Bye!